Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship. This week, we're going to look at common monitoring issues that your worship team might be experiencing and how you can use the Mixing Station app to fix those. Hey, 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 what do you say? Yes, it's that time again. It's Tech Tuesday. Today we're going to look at a common issue that you might have experienced. This is where your lead vocalist um, maybe has themselves all the way up in their mix. They've got their body pack turned all the way up, and they're complaining that they still cannot hear enough of themselves. And um, that can be really frustrating for them especially. Uh, And let's say that we've investigated everything, and indeed they are maxed out. And it turns out that the real issue that they're having is that you have not properly set their gain, which can happen from time to time. Um, And let's say that if we were to simply gain this person up, um, the problem would be that it would affect more than just this person's ears. It would affect how loud they are in the house, how loud they are online, how loud they are in the other mixes, um, the way your compression and gating are operating. So it's not quite as simple as just turn the gain up, um, especially if everybody else is happy. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at a feature in Mixing Station called Regain that gives us a smart way to fix all those issues. So looking at this scene, I'm hooked up to an XR18 right now. We're going to click on vocal one here. Um, and a couple of things I want you to notice uh, on this page. Currently, the gain is set, so these numbers are kind of easy to look at, at 0.0. And let's say that we you know, just happen to know that we have about 15 dB more headroom, that we could push this gain up without hitting the red, um, without hitting super low in the green. We want to be hitting um, you know, at the beginning levels of the yellow, um, and let's say that 15 dB will get us there. Okay. Um, again, if we were to do that, that would affect the way the uh, expansion would work in our gate section. It would affect the way our compressor would work, and it would affect the way our mixes would work. So for, again, simple numbers right now, if you look at our mixes here, um, Vox 1 is cranked all the way up to plus 10 in the Vox 1 mix. Um, but it is set at unity in the Vox 2 mix, the stream left and right, the vocal reverb, and the delay. It is also set to unity in the main mix. And so just keep those numbers in mind. Um, so again, if I were to simply gain up, we would affect all those things we just looked at. Instead, we're going to click and hold on the gain button here. In this menu, this you have to do this every time, which is smart because you don't want to accidentally do this. Um, so we are going to click on the regain button. And then let's also click on that little cog wheel. And you can see that currently, as a default, everything is lit up. We want all those lit up. Nine times out of ten, you're going to want all those settings selected all the time. Um, so we're going to exit out of that. And we're going to simply now, with the regain button lit up, we're going to push the gain up. While I do that, if you look in the top right-hand corner, you can see um, some of those levels and, and notice that they'll start to move. So I'm going to push the gain up to plus 15, and you can see things are moving. Okay, and so we got to plus 15. Let's exit out of there, um, and let's take a look. So first off, you can see that our main level, which was at um, Unity, is not exact math, but it is at negative 14.6. So basically 15 dB of reduction has happened on our main mix so that we're not going to be getting a lot louder in the house. We're not creating feedback, that kind of thing. If we look at our uh, vocal, or sorry, our mix buses here, we can see same deal. We had uh, Vox 1 at plus 10. It is now down to negative 4.6. Um, Vox 2 was at Unity, it's now down to negative 14.6. But if you look at the stream mix, the vocal reverb and the delay mixes, those are all still at Unity. This is one of the really smart things that David over at Mixing Station did, is that um, he has set it very, very intelligently to where this will only affect pre-fade mixes. So post-fade and subgroups 
won't be affected. The only uh, post-fade mix that is being affected by this is our main left-right if we you know, have that selected like we do. Um, so this will affect all the people's ears um, in a way that they actually won't hear any effect. Um, and it also will not have an effect on our live stream, um, which is very, very smart. So now that everyone is gained down a little bit, um, I have room. I can take uh, Vox 1 and push it up about 5 dB. And now uh, that lead singer is going to have more of him or herself in their ears without being turned up in anyone else's ears. Uh, and we still have another 10 dB if we feel like they need even more uh, to work with. So we have created a ton more headroom in their mix for that channel by using Regain. Very, very cool. Something that I haven't really seen in any other mixes. Normally you would have to, uh, as you're gaining up, you'd have to be turning down a bunch of mixes by hand. And then you're not necessarily relatively getting that exactly right. Well, this within you know about half a dB is accurate, so it should only affect um, what you want it to affect. This is just, just really, really smart. So again, big props to David at Mixing Station. Uh, those guys are doing awesome things out there. If you have any questions on this, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Uh, and until next time, have a great week. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.